Hey guys, today I am here to show you the Lush Room. Okay, first off, excuse all the redness. I was at a water park yesterday and I did apply some sunscreen, but I didn't think I'd be there that long. And yeah, so I'm a lobster. Secondly, this is not all my Lush. I like, I cannot keep Lush in one room. That's like impossible. I have tons of Lush in my bathroom downstairs. Miette's got Lush in her bathroom. There's some in the kitchen. It's just kind of all over the place. So this isn't all of it. And I you know a lot of you are probably gonna think that this is like a waste of a room, but this is like my YouTube room now. So this is where everything's gonna happen. This is gonna be well utilized. <laughs> so I guess we'll just start at like one corner, right? Let's get to it. Uh, yeah, so I have this giant sheepskin rug thing that I really really wanted to put underneath my vanity But it just doesn't sit right the whole thing. gets kind of lopsided as you've seen before I do have some wigs up in here Still some even in a box on the second side. I just have like a pile of camera equipment and I also have more wigs and then up at the top I have like really old cameras up there and then like my nail kit is up there too. Just the box because I don't want to get rid of the box. This was in my other house. I really didn't want to keep the thing but I need somewhere to put my files and I don't want to buy an actual filing cabinet because those things are hideous and as much as I hate this big huge white thing, I can keep actual stuff in it. On the top of it, I have like some yellow and cream colored bombs. <laughs> A knot wrap, clearly. And some blue bombs. In my MAC bag, I have empty concealers. Oh my god, cat hair. Empty concealers that I collect so I can return them and get a free one after a while. Bottom tier, just a couple cup of coffees. Havana Sunrise is in the back. Up here, what do I even have up here? Moisturizers and Movis in a zippy. Up at the top, some cleansers. Well, yeah, cleansers. Yeah. How many of you remember that thing? Oh yeah, early 90s. All my nail polish is in there, tons of it. And then for the black white board eraser thing, lots and lots of markers. Down here I have more camera equipment and my charging stations. As you guys can see, I have not moved any of my lighting or my camera because I'm afraid of what the light's gonna look like if I move it. If there are any videos where my lighting is gonna be different, you can see I'll probably just be playing around with my lighting for a while until I really get like the gist of where I wanna sit and how I want my lights to be. On this side, these Ikea mirrors, I just could not get rid of. Uh, I do have one more in my hallway. I just don't know, I can't really put it anywhere else in here. So I get two mirrors and then clearly the uh, push pin board. So this is my black board, my black white board. I don't know what to call it, but uh, I use dry erase markers on it. So I figured I'd put all my up and coming videos on there to keep me in line. The frame was a mirror and it used to be gold and then it broke so I didn't want to just get rid of the frame. I love the frame so this was actually in my daughter's room in the last house and I kind of kind of like the sage in here. Thought about painting it back to gold but I think we'll leave it. Isn't this cool? I haven't really cleaned it. You can see all the spots where I like screwed up and tried to write over it so like I haven't cleaned it yet. I usually keep it pretty clean but it has like a million different settings to it. It's so awesome. Obviously, my need to demo is all right there. However, 
it's it's not enough so I have another bag just sitting over here filled with more stuff I need to demo it's it's getting a little ridiculous but you know what my excuse is that we moved and I didn't have the time so now I do have the time on the other side I have all my empty pots well not all of them actually <laughs> I have plenty more of empty pots but you know what that they're, that's where they're gonna go until I can get back to an actual Lush store. I made this like almost right when I moved in. I put new succulents in and it's so super cute. However, they're pretty pissed off that they're in this greenhouse thingy. So I opened it up yesterday and I hope that they um, get better and get happier. Down below, honestly, I don't remember what is in this bag. I know that there are things in there. This actual like dresser thing I found on the side of the road. It was a dog bed and it was like cream colored. So I decided to paint it black, but that was a couple years ago. So it's like needs to be repainted. I, I like what I've turned it into. I put the damask all back there. It's really cute. So you know what? Let's do this together. Let's find out what's in these bags. Bag number one. Bombs. Ooh, Phoenix Rising. A broken bomb. And a bunch of blackberries down there and another Phoenix Rising and another Phoenix Rising. What is in bag number two? Looks like hair care. Lots of hair care. Mostly shampoos. Yep. Last bag. Bubble bars. Because I am just not really a fan of bubble bars. You can see Super Tramp down there. Yeah, sunny side. Bubble bars. And then I have two canvas bags, my Denaire airbrush kit, and then a, I don't really care for this at all, but I love the frame and I was gonna put it up, but I don't know yet. So that is that. All right, this is how dark it is in here. It's a pretty dark room. Uh, I've just realized that that should probably stay closed if my camera's gonna sit right there because I don't want it like boiling. Anyway, as you can see, dark room. You guys ready to be blinded? One, two, three. Ta-da! My phone did not really make it that epic looking, but it is bright. Like this light is, is so pointless. It does nothing. See, didn't even know, huh? I need to find something like cute and artsy for this gold pillar. Bottom level. I've got some dusting powders and some hand care. Yeah, hand care, body conditioner, body conditioner, body lotion, obviously. It's just a little sample of Sleepy, even though I have a big pot of it. And two massage bars, my nail kit, and a candle that I refuse to light. I have most of my samples in this jar and I honestly didn't know what to do for this little one so scrubbies in there and that is like sealed tight I have two more scrubbies downstairs but he's cute right next level up I have two boxes I don't normally collect empty boxes but I really think they're so pretty I had to keep them and I also have some lip scrubs I think this level is my favorite level. Twilight and Rose Jam, and I'm obviously only able to keep two Twilight in this little jar, but it's still so cute. My only concern about having all these gels and stuff out in this warm room with the sun shining in most of the day is that the color, they're gonna lose their color, they're gonna lose everything about them, so I think this is just totally impractical to keep all this stuff on these tiers. Honestly, I think what I could do is use the bottles up and then maybe paint 
on the inside the same colors so they can still be used as a display which I would really like to do that look at that beautiful red oh my god that's what I'm gonna have to do next up I can't really see gels shower stuff home rain it's too high now I'm too high up and then a fake plant because there's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to water anything that high up but I need some green moving on to the other side here empty shelf what do I put on the empty shelf my instax and a Gucci purse my Lord of Misrule section see what I'm talking about they need to be used if they're not used they're gonna go bad so I'm gonna use all of this up and then just paint the insides green and use it as a display. Some of my favorite perfumes. I've got Ed Hardy, Supermodel, which is non-existent now, some Juicy and some Paris Hilton Can Can. Yeah, these are old school, right? This is an antique vanity set that I've had forever and my grandma has a matching set they're really, really pretty. And I thought about cleaning it up. Really like how old looking they are. So probably won't make them all pretty and shiny and new again. I have my foot care. And the last bag, uh, again, I have no idea. Oh my God, it's heavy. I have some rulades. That's a roulade. That's a yognog roulade. Candy cane rulade. Oh, I get it. They're all soaps. All soaps down in here. And scrubs. See how horrible I am with this? But it looks cute, right? So a few years back, I got that deer from Amazon, I believe. He is resin. He was brown, so I had to spray paint him gold. I got the mirror off of Craigslist, some of the people that make these mirrors in their free time, apparently. And the desk is a mom desk from Ikea, go figure. Just like the shelving is Ikea. And since I just moved in, I really don't have a whole lot in here yet, but I do have my Lime Crime Velveteens, a couple bobby pins for the wigs, my wig brush. I have my brush like bag for those brushes. <laughs> and then I have a pile of cute papers from Lush that I would like to put on my push pin board. However, I need to get some cute push pins first. This was not a mirror to begin with. It was just the frame. So I cut out the cork board and I'm thinking I'm gonna get these cute gold rose push pins to put up my little lush displays. Hello. I have a ton of UK items that I need to get you guys caught up on. So next week I will be doing one of many UK orders. Do you guys have any suggestions or any other cute ideas? Let me know. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tour. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of it and I will see you next week.